How's it going today, everybody? It's your boy Will Reacts 215 in the building, and today I got Eaton Zero Chapter 91 Homer versus Sylph. Now, I actually didn't know that the chapter came out, said it came out Monday, but I checked Tuesday and, and, and I didn't see it when I, um, the, web, the website that I read it on. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I just got a little bit of wine in my cup. <laughs> but I didn't see the, uh, I didn't see the chapter there when I, uh, initially went to go look for it. So, you know, I was like, oh, cool. They, mu they must not be coming out with a chapter. So let me just take this time to record some gameplays or whatever. But then when I seen that it did come out, I'm like, oh, let me hurry up and make my uh, video because I don't like to be behind. I'll try to be current, at least with this. Because <laughs> it seems like Ian Zero is like, from most of my videos that I upload on YouTube, those get the most traction. So I'm trying to, you know, stay up, stay on the right track with that. My bad, I'm just trying to make sure I'm camera ready. Alright, so on the cover page, we have another Pino's analysis. Um, and that's actually Pino this time. <laughs> Her name is E.M. Pino. Her powers are E.M.P. Electromagnetic Pulse Attack. She likes Master Shiki. She dislikes bullies. And she has one attack star, one defense star, one marksmanship star, Two ether stars, intelligence is a four, rabbit, a three star. So I guess she's supposed to be looking like a rabbit. I don't know. And her in the memo it says an anti mech android. My EMP will short circuit every machine in range, but it shuts down Master Shiki's ether gear and Mister Happy's too. My memory is damaged, so I don't know what I was made for, but I want to become human now. Cause I, yeah, I, I, every t when she went into the game, she uh picked a human body. When she did the Ways Disguise act, she picked a human body, and she's even made it known that she wants to know what food tastes like. She wants to, you know, feel. And I believe she can, you know how. You are a human. You do feel. <laughs> so. Okay, so now we have Sylph blowing her wind towards Homer, and she says, I see how your wind operates. It will have no effect on my sword. And she has a little thing saying beep bop. And she does more wind. And she's pretty much picking up everything in the area. And she said the wind, uh, Homer, the wind pulled in all the objects, all the surrounding objects. And it's like beep boop. And she's sending them all crashing towards Homer. And she's dodging, dodging, more dodging. <laughs> Bam. Okay, so, ooh, she about to impale her. Crash. Ooh. She did a backflip into a window. Oh, she broke the window. Okay. Hmm. I was wondering how Sylph was going to fight because her powers don't, doesn't really seem offensive. It seemed more for, like, you know, uh, stopping the enemy from escaping or holding them. And where's Jen? We haven't seen Jen since, uh, since they did the repeat. And world now they're in world thirty when they were in world twenty nine. Him and Shiki had their one on one fight, and they came to a stalemate. But since we came to world thirty, we haven't really seen him. She's like, "What is this place?" And now she's dancing on the pole. It's a dance theater, but there are no audience or dancers thanks to you and your friends," says Sylph. Okay, says okay. So we're back with Shiki, Rebecca. Ways, Pino, Happy, Moskoy, Cyber, and Labilla. We can hide here for now. I help with the construction of the building. If I remember right, there are no security cameras in this room. So this is Cyber. Oh, Pino's having like a little flashback. Because if we remember 50 years in the past, Cyber was the one who took both of Pino's legs. And Ways is the one who gave her her legs back. But he pretty much tortured her. Uh, made her cry and pretty much killed all the other androids and threw them into a hole. I like Norma. Norma wasn't a bad arc. I liked that. It was like you kind of got a gauge of where the story was going to go from there, kind of like with the chronophage, because we got the chronophage in that arc in, and um, what was the arc that came after that? Gilfs, because that's my that's my actually my favorite arc. Gilfs, and then I like um, Midland Coliseum, and then I actually like Digitalis too. That arc was dark, and I liked it. 
Okay. She said, I want to know exactly what's going on. And Rebecca's like, we'll explain everything later. So could you turn down the volume a little, please? I should have left her. That was my whole thing. I mean, they, you know, they're good guys. So, you know, they don't do stuff like that. But I would have left LaBella. She's a B word. She keep looking at her like. And so Waze is like, cyber? So what happened to your hair? The ways I knew kept his rock, rockabilly due to middle age. <laughs> So Waze is like, oh, I get it. If you've seen our times, Waze, how his hair was thinning. And he said, no, just currently, just the current style, okay? <laughs> so he pretty much told Waze he's going to lose his hair when he turns the middle age. He said, forget about me. What are you doing here? And he says, all you, you kids are all over the news these days. So I was watching and I saw a face I know. I can't just sit back when an old friend is in trouble. Okay, so I was thinking, like, you know, when he got introduced at the end of the chapter that he was actually going to, like, turn on him. But it seems like he wants to help him, so that's good, at least for now. So, you know, it can change. So Shiki's like, you jerk. Don't you remember what you did to Pino? And he said, well, Wade says, drop it. That wasn't the same cyber. And he's like, mind if I ask what time you came from? <laughs> the bird. I see. In the right in the middle of our falling out, I guess you would have mixed feelings about seeing me then. He <laughs> like it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Ways is so like easy going. He like yeah, like it is what it is, bro. <laughs> like it ain't that deep. That's funny. About fifty years ago, we teamed up to pull all kinds of mischief. Back then, we happy like you used to be friends. Cyber's like yeah, but we had a falling out over a minor disagreement. Ways is like minor disagreement. He said, in my history, we patched up our differences long ago, but at a very heavy cost. Oh, I wonder what happened. He's like, what? You stole money from our gang. You mean the case that had Pino inside? I don't know about the new history, but it was my history. It was full. And, but in my history, it was full of money. Money that belonged to DJ Zombie. And he's like, DJ Zombie? <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, you thought you were stealing from me, but the money really was DJ Zombies. Who would have such a scary name as Moscow? A loan shark and the fixer for our gang and all the other punks in town. I never met him, but he was a big deal. His name alone spooked everybody from our generation. So, DJ Zombie found out you taking his money and he had your right arm cut off. Ooh. Oh, okay, so he cut off uh, Waze's arm. Did the Waze from a few... I think he did have, a, like, a robotic arm. So Waze is looking like... Uh, oh, oh! Is that Cyber? I mean, is that Draken? Because Draken cut off Waze's arm in World 29. Is that Draken? Is he DJ Zombie? Maybe I'm overreacting, but let me let's keep reading. They're like, what? Rebecca's like, wait a minute. It's an ancient punishment for stealing. You stopped acting out after that. You started going to school. Even started, even people, people even started calling you the professor. You and I eventually reconciled, but we drifted apart. I can never quite commit to this straight and narrow, so I ended up here. Waze is like, mm. Yes, he did. Okay, he did. I'm like, I, he did have an arm. Okay, so the professor got his prosthetic arm because of what DJ Zombie did to him. As for DJ Zombie, he became a, even more successful as a loan shark on the planet Gills. Oh my God, it's Draken. He stole money from Draken. How ironic that he chopped his arm off in World 29, but he also chopped his arm off 50 years in the past with the other ways. So he weighs guys arm chopped off twice by drinking. And thanks to him, the beautiful tourist planet went to the pot it became but thanks thanks to him, the beautiful tourist planet went to pot. It became the cesspool everyone knows it is today. She's like, What? Yep. Happy's like, that sounds like <gasps> we Pino's like a lone shark on gills. You don't mean I do. The name DJ Zombie. Was our name for Draken Joe 50 years ago? Ooh! Ooh! I had a feeling when he said he chopped that arm off. Oh, 
uh, Rebecca's like, wait a minute, he's from 50 years ago, but he doesn't look like it. Cyber's like, he looked exactly the same for over 50 years. That's how he got the name Zombie. People thought it was creepy that he never aged. Drake and Joe Zombie. Yup, and now they remember Master Noah called him Undead Draken. I hear his real age is more than 200 years. So, some grandpa is trying to fit in with the kids. Gross. She needs to get her ass kicked. I don't like her. <laughs> That's an awfully long time to live. Even with our current medical technology, it is nearly impossible to extend your life more than 200 years, says Pino. And Rebecca's like, I wonder if that means... Draken wants my power so he can go back to his young self? What do you mean? This is happy. What do you mean, Rebecca? My power lets me go back to being my past self. Okay, so it's kind of like time travel, but it's kind of like different. Like she can only go back to herself. Got you. But with all my future memories, right? In other words, whenever I go back in time, my body gets that much younger. But he doesn't age. So why would he need to get younger? That's the thing. Right now, he's keeping himself alive and unaging. But maybe he won't be able to do so much longer. Ooh! Okay, so we back to Sylph and Homer. She's like, whoosh. <laughs> so Homer is like, what? The wind's color has changed. My wind. A wind snatch and wind snatch. It takes everything. I'll cleave your wind asunder. So her sword kind of went through the wind. She's like, what? I've raised my wind quality level by one. Then, clean. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot she could do that. So she's pretty much whirling her. She took her sword apart and brought them together. And now she's using it as like a staff, I'm guessing. So it feels like, what? Wham. I shall block your wind by creating my own. Okay. Warrior mid dual blade imitation attack. Towering crane gust. Her wind... Her her wind is blowing. Dun dun. So Homer pretty much stopped it. No, it can't. No wind is allowed except for mine and my brothers. If the wind stops, Draken will absorb me. Is that the end of the chapter? That's the end of the chapter. Okay, so I don't know what she means by Draken will absorb me if her wind stops. So I'm guessing if she loses, then he's going to absorb her to keep his youth the way it is. This was a good chapter. I like the fact that Draken has took Waze's arm 50 years in the future and then <laughs> just like chapter, a couple chapters ago, he took his arm again. So we're getting a lot of information about Draken. The story building in Eden Zero is so freaking good. I love it. Like, like don't get me wrong, I like fairy tale, but this storytelling is so much better. It has like... The plot is just like, oh my god. I like the idea that Rebecca can only go back to her past self. So therefore, she technically cannot rewind time. Which I like that he threw that in there. She can only go back to her past self and retain knowledge. I hope she doesn't, Mishima doesn't use it constantly when they get in hardships. But um, I like that they put that in there. I like the fact that Draken was DJ Zombie back in the day and he pretty much built his name up to what it is today and he's the sole reason that Gilts is the way that it is this was a good chapter my future prediction for next chapter we're probably going to get the conclusion of way, um, Homer versus Homer versus um, Sylph and we're probably I really feel like we're going to get into the Shiki and Jen fight but it's probably going to go different and um, um yeah that's pretty much it for the video if you guys liked it, don't don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to be consistent with the Eat Zero content. I'm trying to be consistent with the gameplays. Be on the lookout for that next video, Final Fantasy Part 4. I cut it short last time because I was getting a headache, and I just didn't, you know, I didn't want to seem like I was disinterested. And then my fan was blowing all high, and I didn't know that it was that loud. So, kind of overtook the audio just a little bit like you can hear me in the game but you can also hear the uh win from the fans so i don't know i might take that video down i don't know yet but um yeah though don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel this is your boy will reacts 215 in the building got my wine we about to be outie peace